Nothing compares quite like the Stanley. I know you were just showing me. What do you have over there? What is that, Alan? It's a Bubba. Okay. Oh, I've heard those Bubbas They're are actually good. pretty good. Actually, They're one good. of our directors and I were talking about that before the show. Keeps the coffee warm. But you're right. It's not. It's not the Stanley mug. It's not. Ugh. It's not the coveted Stanley. Also, not three hundred dollars probably. Right. So you're safe there. It's also a Christmas gift for my aunt. So I can't really complain, right? All right, let's talk about the weather today. You probably want a warm drink or two this morning to keep you nice and warm because it's cold outside. Not as cold as yesterday at this time because we have a little bit of wind, but the wind is causing those wind chills to be lower than the air temp. So the jacket, the extra layer, I'd say maybe on the hats and gloves, you could probably leave the winter boots at home for another day or two. Here's a look at temperatures region wide. We're down to minus nine this morning in Alamosa, where a wind chill advisory is in effect until nine o'clock. 34 for our friends in Canyon, 22 in Pueblo, 18 currently in Woodland Park. Look at these wind gusts really beginning to ramp up. That sensor in Teller County, Woodland Park, now gusting up near 50 miles per hour. Strong gusts this morning from Denver down to the Springs in Pueblo. Gusts currently out towards Salida and Swatch up around 25 to 30 miles per hour. Let me show you what we expect to see later today with these winds. They will be coming out of the west northwest, and I think they'll continue to pick up through around 9 o'clock. Peak wind gusts probably through early this afternoon. You can see around 11 o'clock many areas seeing gusts between about 30 and 50 miles per hour. Once we head towards sunset tonight, the significant wind begins to weaken for the plains, at least for the mountain areas. It will stay breezy into the overnight hours. So for that dog walk forecast today, a little bit warmer than yesterday. We'll see upper 30s to lower 40s, but it will be windy. So you want to make sure you're layered up. Maybe put your favorite sweater or outfit on your pooch to keep them warm as well. Now let's jump ahead to tomorrow. Snow expected to continue flying throughout much of the day in the mountains as you make our way into Thursday, we get a little piece of energy that moves into the plains. Probably a better chance west of I-25 than areas out east, but I think we could see a few light snow showers by the afternoon to evening from the springs down to Pueblo. Not expecting any big impacts. However, timing wise, it could move in right around that evening commute. Accumulations, however, should stay under an inch in most spots. Then as we jump ahead to the weekend, that cold air bottled up to our north plunges down to the south. This is going to be our first big Arctic air attack of the season. And wait till you see this super seven day forecast, folks. It's probably going to make you shiver a little bit this morning as you're getting things ready for the day. 40 today in the Springs, 45 in Pueblo, 31 in Monument, 28 in Woodland Park. So we're a little below average, but probably the warmest day that we'll see in quite some time. Thursday is colder with windy conditions and snow showers as well. The wind continues Friday and then that Arctic air arrives on Sunday and check this out. Wind chill values throughout the day could be down below zero with our high only climbing to 10. For Pueblo, we'll have upper 30s on Friday after seeing highs in the 30s and 40s today and tomorrow. 25 Saturday with a high of just 10 degrees on Sunday. Canyon City a few days out from that Arctic air, but once it moves in, we'll be in the teens on Sunday with a low down to two Sunday night. For Woodland Park, I've got periods of snow expected on Thursday with some windy conditions through the end of the week. Snow and cold as we head towards the end of the holiday weekend.